Welcome to the continuation of this video on the method of undetermined coefficients. In the previous um, uh, video, I talked about this matrix ODE analogy to sort of motivate how these solutions will look, and now I'll go through the method of undetermined coefficients itself and describe how we use that to solve equations like this example. So y double prime plus 2y prime plus 3y equal e to the 2t. So the, the operator notation for this, I would say this part here is what I call L with Y plugged into it. So the L operator takes two derivatives, adds two times one derivative, and then adds three times the function itself. So what I want to do first in step one of the method of undetermined coefficients is solve L Y equals zero. And that's going to get me the C1 and C2 solutions that we had over here in this analogy uh, that we, we, we drew out. Okay, so uh, so what is that equation? That equation is y double prime plus 2y prime plus 3y equals 0 now, and the characteristic equation for that is r squared plus 2r plus 3 equals 0. I'm not going to go through it in detail, but I can factor it in and find the roots are 1 and minus 3. So the factors are r plus 1 and r minus 3. Sorry r minus 1 and r plus 3. And so what I know from that is that the homogeneous solution is going to be c1 e to the t plus c2 e to the minus 3t. Okay, so that's step one. We have our first part of the solution. And now step two and this is the step that can get fairly complicated depending on what that right-hand side is and how it relates to the solution to the homogeneous equation. But this one is a straightforward one. And I'll do some of those more complicated ones in a subsequent video. So the first thing that you want to do here is notice that if I take this function e to the 2t and plug it into L, let's just think about what would happen. I take two derivatives of it. e to the t is pretty resilient. It looks still like e to the t, it's just got a 4 in front. Take one derivative, it's got a 2 in front, and then I multiply it by a 2. And then here I multiply it by a 3 without taking any derivatives. So basically I have three different terms that all have an e to the t common. And so the output of L of e to the 2t, because of the structure, it's a linear uh, operator, and e is, behaves very nicely with derivatives, the output of this is just going to be some constant multiplied by e to the 2t. So motivated by that observation, I'm going to guess that the solution that I want is of the form yp of t equal some unknown constant a times e to the 2t. And now I just have to find a. And I do that by plugging yp into l. So I, I write down L of yp, and that's equal to L of a e to the 2t. And so I take two derivatives, and when I take two derivatives, a 2 comes out twice. So I have 4a e to the 2t. And then I take a derivative, one derivative, but then multiply it by 2, because that's what the equation's got up in it here. So I get another 4 times a e to the 2t. And then finally, I add 3 times a e to the 2t. And so all together here, I end up with 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 3 is 11, so I get 11a e to the 2t. Now, I wanted to get out e to the 2t, right? That's what I've got on the right-hand side here. And so how do I make this equal to just e to the 2t with a 1 coefficient? Well, I've got to choose a equal to 1 over 11. And so my y general solution, y of t, is going to be equal to the homogeneous solution, c1 e to the t plus c2 e to the minus 3t, and then add to that plus 1 over 11 e to the 2t. Now, why does that work? So um, the reason this works is because, let's jump over to another page. We're dealing with the equation y prime plus 2y prime, double, y double prime plus 2y prime plus 
3y is our operator, and we found that L of, uh, let's see, so what I want to do is I want to show that if I plug in L of yh, so h, yh is the homogeneous solution, that gives me zero. And if I plug L, if I plug into L my solution 1 over 11 e to the 2t, we found what came out of that? We found that e to the 2t came out of it because the operator basically puts an 11 factor in front of an exponential e to the 2t. So because of linearity, we know that L of yh plus 1 over 11 e to the 2t is equal to L of h, sorry, L of yh plus L of 1 over 11 e to the 2t because of linearity. And L of yh is just 0, and L of 1 over 11 e to the 2t is e to the 2t. So if we combine our two solutions, the homogeneous plus the particular that we got from the method of undetermined coefficients, we end up solving our differential equation. So that's how we know that this is the correct assembled solution.